Installation Instructions for the Brinks Commercial Keypad Entry Lever BC40107 This light duty keypad lever is NC grade 2 and can be installed on right or left hand doors between 1 and 3 8 inches to 2 inches thick. Along with an adjustable latch, which can be used for a 2 and 3 8 inch or a 2 and 3 quarters inch back set. Here are the tools required for installation. The keypad lever comes with everything else you will need. Preparing the door. If your door is already prepared and matches the provided template, continue on to installation. If not, use the provided template to mark and drill the appropriate holes for your door. Latch installation. Determine the back set needed and adjust the latch if necessary by sliding the latch cam to the correct length. Install the latch into the edge of the door. Make sure the angled face of the latch bolt is facing the door jamb. Using two of the screws labeled DE, fasten the latch on the door. Do not tighten the screws completely to allow for some leeway when installing the lever. Setting the spindle handing. The lever set comes with the exterior and interior spindles in the neutral position. Before installing, you must first set the exterior and interior spindles for the hand of your door. To determine if the door is a right or left hand door while facing the push side of the door. If the hinges are on the left, it is a left hand door. If the hinges are on the right, it is a right hand door. On the exterior side of the door, rotate the exterior spindle 90 degrees until it clicks into place so the lever catch faces away from the door hinges. If the spindle was accidentally set to the incorrect position on the back of the exterior assembly, insert a screwdriver into the hole marked switch to simply place the spindle back to the neutral position and reset the spindle again. While keeping the exterior lever and cylinder in place, insert the key and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then slide the exterior lever onto the spindle until it locks into place. The lever handle should be pointing toward the hinges of the door. Turn the key back 90 degrees clockwise and remove. Remove the label. On the interior side of the door, rotate the interior spindle 90 degrees until it clicks into place so the lever catch faces away from the door hinges. Again, if the spindle was accidentally set to the incorrect position on the back of the interior assembly, press the button marked switch to simply place the spindle back to the neutral position and reset the spindle again. Do not install the interior lever at this time. Installation. Place the exterior assembly into position and feed the power cable under the latch. Then, Insert the spindle through the square hole of the latch cam. Using the mounting plate, first, insert the power cable through the slot on the mounting plate and then align the receiving post to the post on the exterior assembly and push against the door. Insert the two BB mounting plate screws and tighten. Next, remove the battery cover from the interior assembly by sliding it up and pulling it out from the top. Then, remove the decorative cover from the interior assembly by pressing on the interior turn switch with your thumbs to separate the cover from the body. Pull it apart and set it aside. Insert the power cable into the connector port on the back of the interior assembly and secure the cable in the cable guard. Align the square hole with the spindle and slide on the interior assembly until it is flush against the door. Be sure that the lever catch on the spindle is facing away from the hinges of the door. If not, correct now before inserting screws. Insert the two DD battery compartment screws and tighten firmly. Place the decorative cover back onto the interior assembly. With the collar in the correct position on the interior lever, slide the lever onto the interior spindle until it locks into place. The lever handle should be pointing toward the hinges of the door. Finally, fully tighten the latch screws. Install the optional dust box and strike plate onto the door jamb and secure with the two remaining DE screws. Test the operation of the lever. 
check that once the door is closed, the deadlocking plunger on the latch should be retracted. Insert four new AA batteries into the battery compartment. You will hear a beep. Replace the battery cover. Programming setup. The Brinks commercial keypad lever is set to auto lock when the turn switch is vertical. Using a flat tool, turn the switch clockwise to the horizontal position to deactivate the auto lock. The keypad lever now serves as a passage lever and is in programming mode. Once programming is completed, rotate the turn switch back to the vertical position to exit programming mode and return to auto lock. To unlock, enter the correct code. When a short beep is heard and the green indicator light flashes, turn the exterior lever to open. When using the key, the lever functions as a storeroom lock where the key must remain in while the lever is unlocked and can only be removed once the lever is locked again. Rekeying the cylinder. If you need to remove the cylinder for rekeying, insert the key and rotate to unlock. Insert the push pin into the hole on the side of the collar and depress the catch. Remove the exterior lever and slide off the collar. Rotate the key back and remove. Then remove the cylinder from the lever. Once rekeyed, replace the cylinder back into the lever. Then slide the collar back onto the lever. While keeping the exterior lever, collar, and cylinder in place, insert the key and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then slide the exterior lever back onto the spindle until it locks into place. Your new Brinks commercial keypad entry lever is now ready for use.